Located on 65 acres in the heart of the city, the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden has been open to the public since 1875. Dedicated to creating adventure, conserving nature, and serving the community, the zoo attracts over 1.3 million visitors annually. Six years ago, a change in the director of facilities led to a practical and common sense approach to managing the zoo's energy resources. This commitment to sustainability quickly earned them the title, Greenest Zoo in America. The zoo is the second oldest zoo in the nation, and as such, has some of the oldest infrastructure um, in any zoo in the nation. One of the things that we've really focused on is to upgrade that infrastructure so that it is more energy efficient, it is more sustainable. Many zoos are funded different ways. Some receive a humongous amount of tax support. In our case, the margin we run at the end of the year is what we're able to invest in our infrastructure. The energy savings, the water savings, frankly led to money savings. And as a facilities director, uh, the utility budget is my responsibility. So literally the first thing we did was get out our water bills and start looking back. So when we sat down with Siemens initially, we said, hey, we need to get a handle on these utilities. How can you help us figure all this out? Mark came in asking the right questions. You know, why are my bills so high? Is this normal? That's where the metering came in. So we started putting in water metering. Uh, we started putting in electric meters, gas meters, separating it out and sub-metering these facilities so that we can tell where his highest utility spend was. With the addition of metering to monitor and track the zoo's resources, the implementation of the next phase in reducing energy consumption required forming a long-term relationship for success. And as we started digging into our existing HGAC infrastructure, we had literally a half dozen controls contractors equipment in our zoo. None of it was integrated. It's not just we need to upgrade our HVAC controls or we need a new panel. It's we need to have someone help us look at this system, this whole system. So I needed a partner that was flexible, creative, and willing to roll with the punches. And Siemens hit all of those out of the park. Cincinnati Zoo and Siemens uh, really has a pretty elaborate integration story to tell. We were able to go in with Mark and his existing systems, get them to talk together, get them to work together, and do so in a way that was less costly than what he was doing before. With the Apogee building automation system connecting the zoo's systems, the benefits of open communication between controllers, including remote alarming, monitoring, and control, were clear. Our number one cost, like any organization, is staff. It's 79% of our expenses. Now, with some of the seamless technology, we can be much more efficient and productive. The more we automate, the less hands we have on things. So we've taken that freed up labor and put it towards other things that fit our mission. So it's been a huge productivity piece for us. The Manatee Building, prior to the automation provided by Siemens, was uh, had a lot of problems. There was a time when I came in at 4 o'clock in the morning to find about five feet of water left in our tank. And what had happened, one of my filters actually um, blew a gasket in it. And when the gasket blew out, the pumps continued to flow. And now that we have the automation in place, it, it gives us a bit more peace of mind. We can walk away from a system and not have to worry about it, which gives us the time to take care of some other animals that we have here. So in the last six years, we've reduced our water usage by 60%. We've reduced our energy usage by almost 30%. We've diverted about a third of the zoo's rainwater from entering the sewers. When you talk about a $3.3 million savings in utilities over a six year period with a million and a half dollar investment, it speaks for itself. The savings that we have been able to see in our energy consumption, uh, we've been able to direct specifically right back into our facilities to make upgrades that benefit our visitors and our zoo staff. Sustainability is clearly an investment strategy at the Cincinnati Zoo. By adopting a long view approach to energy efficiency, the greenest zoo in America is truly living its mission. The connection between resources that people use every day and protecting wildlife in the wild is a direct connection. It's not a distant connection. Energy efficiency and the sustainability projects at the Cincinnati Zoo are just the right thing to do. It's something that is good for our institution, it's good for our business, but more importantly, it's the right thing to do for the future of wildlife and people. So with all the cool things we're doing here, from the solar array 
to other advanced energy projects to the crazy success with energy efficiency and water efficiency. There's still people in this country who think that's kind of like out there, cutting edge, man, someday I'll get there. It's here now, we're doing it. And if you can do something like that at the little old Cincinnati Zoo, you know, why can't you do the same exact thing? Thank you.